be honest, this is probably the last time you're ever going to see this set because I'm moving. We are about a week away from Halloween, which excites me more than it should, but I'm incredibly excited because Halloween is by far my most favorite holiday. And then actually followed by Thanksgiving and Christmas. So like the next three months for me are like gold. And since it is the best holiday, I've decided to talk about the five best things about Halloween. Let's shove off with number five. We're gonna start off with one of the most obvious ones ever. Candy. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love candy? Actually, my love for candy has actually given me a little bit of a, a fight lately because it's probably been my entire diet since the beginning of October. Um, since we did that Halloween candy episode, I've literally stuffed my gullet with candy every night before bed, so. I mean, I'm sure it's not good for me, but you know, I only do this once a year. And then also on Christmas and Easter and Valentine's Day. Yep, okay, maybe okay a few times a year, every day. <laughs> Stop shaming me. But it is the whole point of the holiday. You walk around as this ghoul and you basically get candy. That's, that's the entire point. You go trick or treating, which is, by far the best experience as a kid. If your kid does not trick or treat, well then I don't know what kind of evil parent you are. Number four, Halloween parties. Who doesn't love to bob for apples, get super wasted, and throw up a mixture of hot damn and apple pucker? I mean, that just sounds like a beautiful night to me. And of course there's costume contests. I don't know if there's actually like a prize for some of these costume contests, but I love to just go all out and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe not thousands, I don't spend that much, but I've, I've been known to spend a couple hundred dollars on a Halloween costume just to get like $10 in prizes. For some reason, that equals out to me. And of course there's giant bar events that do these crazy elaborate things on Halloween that are just so fun. Like there's a zombie crawl in the one city that I used to go to all the time and they just like literally bar hop as a bunch of zombies. And they just, they just like tape off the entire road so that way all you do is get really drunk and walk around as a zombie. I mean, really it's the same thing. But now you have an excuse to why you're puking up blood in the backyard. Number three, Halloween decor. I mean, honestly, to some, this is just gonna go out for one month out of the year. But to me, this is just something that's gonna stick around forever. I mean, these are gonna stay out all year long. I mean, I'll figure out something to do with them. I mean, they're just too cute. I guess if I want them to remain special, I guess I could put them away. But I mean, honestly, most of my decoration is pretty horrific. This is my cookie jar. It's a brain. Now, I like a lot of colorful things, but I also like things that are a lot spooky and crazy. I feel like the the scarier the better. I would live in a world of, of Halloween all year long. If I could live in Halloween Town, that would be my dream. I couldn't imagine a more beautiful place. Number two, scary and or slutty costumes. The great part of Halloween is you could be anyone or anything that you want, literally. If you can figure out how to make it into a costume, you could become it. Some people take this opportunity to finally be a pirate, to pillage in the night and drink their fill of rum. Am I the only one? <laughs> and then some people just really want to be super incredibly slutty. And Halloween is one of those things where you can just get away with it. You can show pretty much everything except your nipples and your genitals and you're incredibly fine. As long as you got those two things covered, you're not a whore. You might be a little slutty, but you know, someone just looks at you and that's all right. I mean, they have slutty costumes of everything. Did you know there's a slutty Harambe? If you didn't know that, look it up. It's, it's both hysterical and upsetting. And then finally, number one. Number one is my favorite part of Halloween. And there is this, this bit of strangeness to it. Don't get me wrong, there's probably something wrong with me, but I enjoy scaring the fuck out of people. Now, I used to work with my friends in a little haunted house that we'd build every year, and people would probably scoff a little bit at it and think, oh, these are just some kids that put this together in their backyard. Yes and no. We put a lot of thought 
and a lot of effort into making a haunted house, and we scared the fuck out of you. Now since we didn't have the huge budget that most haunted houses have, we decided that it all relied on the scare factor, and very simple, cheap, and easy scares. We relied on darkness, the unknowing, and a lot of strobe lights and fog. And that's enough to scare the bejesus out of somebody. One time I scared this woman so much that she started running with her child in her hand. The child couldn't be more than three or four years old. As she ran away, her child just looked at me and smiled with her hand waving. Now, to me a little bit, a kid smiling at something scary, that's a little bit of a warning sign. Red flag there, red flag. All in all, I do love to scare people, and it is one of my favorite things, and I actually like to be scared. I love to go through haunted houses to see if someone can scare me. I didn't get too scared this year, but I'm always up for a new challenge, so if you know of any super crazy awesome haunted houses, maybe next year I will make it to those, so put that in the comments below. I want to see some of your crazy haunted houses that you have maybe near you or you know of, and just let me know where they are, what it's called, and maybe next year I will make a special trip because I would love to go to like the scariest haunted house in America. Like even if there's like real fucking ghosts in it, I would like drive the fuck down there. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and don't forget to comment your favorite haunted houses in the comments below because I really, really, really want to know because I'm now I'm like super excited. And don't forget I have social media. It's like right down there in the description so you know you can click on it and you can find me and whatever. So until next time my little creatures of the night. <laughs>